day viewers, we are sorry for interrupting this broadcast on TV to bring you the breaking news of an IE student paralyzed after inhaling a chemical at the lab of Polytechnic University of the Philippines. To follow us for more updates, let's call Mikai. Mikai, you there? Well, Jairon, it's your real estate out of here. Good day viewers. Coming to you live from a serious chemical accident at the PUP Industrial Engineering Laboratory, Sri Lanka. Forensic said that the unsupervised student accidentally inhaled an unknown chemical reaction, causing student paralyzation. Right now, the paralyzed student is at the PUP hospital and hopefully will recover soon. How alarming is that, Mikai? Is it known what kind of chemical was inhaled by the student? It is for us to know and avoid this kind of situation in the future especially for the students who are doing their laboratory experiments. According to the industrial engineering professors of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, the substance was brought to a laboratory and will be kept and studied by professional scientists. Currently, the institution where the experiment held remains silent after the incident. Back to you, Jaron. Thank you for that engaging report, Mikai. Now, our Kuya Jar will take the stage. Thank you, Jiron. A caution and a warning for everyone that is not experiment when leave unattended in the laboratory to avoid any kinds of accidents. Now to explain the chemical safety and the chemical safety practices in the field of industrial engineering, here's our resident chemical engineer, Pauline. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Pauline, your friendly chemical engineer on the go. Chemical safety is one of the most important things that should be practiced especially in the field of industrial engineering. It is a practice of how to handle, store, and use chemicals in a safe manner to minimize their risk. Here are the practices we can do. Number one, chemical hazard assessment. This is done in order to recognize and assess any risk and hazards that are connected to the chemicals that are utilized, transported, and stored. Number two, safety data sheet or SDS. This may include crucial details regarding a chemical's characteristics, health and environmental risks, as well as the required management and emergency response techniques. Number three, personal protective equipment or PPE. To reduce exposure, workers handling hazardous chemicals should be given the proper PPE, such as gloves, eye protection, and respirators. Number four, storage and transportation. To reduce the danger of mishaps, chemicals should be kept in the right container and correctly laden. Also, security transportation practices are necessary. Ooh, what if an emergency breaks in? What do you think should we do, Kuya Jarl? Hmm, I think it's about the emergency response, Ms. Pauline. Now let me add on to what you've said. For the emergency response in reacting to chemical spills, fires, or other crises, a plan A and a plan B should be created and periodically exercised. Next one's training. Regular training on safe handling practices, emergency response, and PPE use should be provided to employees handling these chemicals. We should also establish regulations. Hazard communication standard, hazardous waste management regulation, and a globally harmonized system of naming and labeling chemicals are just few of the laws that regulate chemical safety. And I think that's it. Thank you, Miss Pauline. It's been a pleasure. Wait, wait, wait! Did you hear that song? Prevention is better than you to prevent any problems while working with the chemicals. I think it's time to move those hips and sing while we are going to learn some love rules. Working in the lab and I'm thinking about safety. Goggles strong and lab coats on. Open two shoes out of you. Are you going crazy? Things could go wrong. Things could go wrong. My love, they may be safe around chemicals. The chemicals. My love, tie back your hair and wrap materials. Don't wrap materials. One. Don't you taste your sneeze? Should be watching for taking a whiff. Two. Don't mix it in until the lid is checked again. Three. No food or drink unless you wanna have a spaghetti in the morning. 
And if you follow this, you will mess it get the risk. I got the blues right down. I got the blues right down. Long hair that got against myself. I got the blues right down. Now go and tell him to pray. One, you should taste his name. You know she'll be what it's taking away. If you follow this, you will never get the rest. I got love, who's I got?